Today's the day. I have to get the kidding pen ready. It is Tuesday. Something in my eye. So let's go check on everyone. Good morning. Good morning, Clara. Stop, wait. I could have done work on it. I'm hungry. I am going to try to put the mineral feeder in here. The only problem I have is that the kidding stalls are super small. I think they're maybe a little bit less than six by, I don't know, four. So I have to plan everything very carefully. And after we put the hay feeder there, and this is the hook for the bucket, the only one place where I can place it is in there. Uh, in between this and this. Now this wall lacks support and so they are making holes in it. So I'm gonna remove it completely and see what I can do to add for support. I was thinking to put like a piece of wood between this and this and here and here but I'm wondering if I'm gonna be strong enough to put the uh, screws on the side because they have to be very very long uh, but not too long that will go through the wood and to the other side where the goats can hurt themselves so because I think the separation is where they are able to you know, eventually put their hooves in between this and the top part. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so I am repurposing some of these steaks that I got for free from a farm and uh, I am basically just attaching them one by one. I put a couple of uh, stronger 2x4s inside, cut them, and now I'm trying to do this kind of <laughs> bustle with this. Now the problem that I'm finding is that some are shorter so out of everything that I brought there's like one two three four that are shorter but I do have quite a bit of this but I think this is gonna be perfect for here and we're gonna be able to repurpose some materials that we had around so I'll show you one of them. Okay so shaping up Kind of dark because I have the, the door closed but as you can see I'm just using one screw and this is like solid can't move it so this does not guarantee that they're not gonna break it um, you know if I leave something that they can find to chew easily they probably would but I feel better about repurposing this uh, steaks that I had laying around for about a year and at the same time fixing my problem though I only have this much left so I'm gonna finish this and then I'm gonna try to do the same here see this is I mean just not good so I'm gonna put another piece of wood here like I did here another one here and I'm gonna try to do the same I'm gonna try to continue with this because 
I probably have not well, probably got a hundred of them when I did and I want to stain them but right now they are just um, a little bit humid so I, I'm not gonna paint them right now but I think it's gonna look it's gonna look good and at the same time it's going to make it that much stronger and avoid babies escape. beautiful sunny day but I have everyone waiting by the door what do you guys want? What do you want? I mean, there's sun outside, Annabelle. It's not hiding from you. Oh, you're looking for trouble, little girl. I probably look terrible because I've been working on this doll all day well all morning it's one I'm gonna start uh, locking her up at night starting either Friday or Saturday just to make sure that she has a warm place a place that is clean so if I hope not but if anything happened and I'm not here or it's the middle of the night she lost ligaments and she kitted immediately then at least she'll have everything she needs she'll have food she'll have minerals and she'll have a safe place to hopefully be able to keep up with her babies last year she had four and only two survived she did it by herself so she is a good mom she knows what she's supposed to do but when you have multiples it's better when you're there to encourage her to say hey here are a couple more kids that you didn't notice just came out of you so you know there was so many spider webs I've been cleaning I've been doing all the things in here just going through the walls they were so dusty so much dust in here so it, I feel a lot better now that everything is clean and if she happened to lose her ligaments tonight or tomorrow or the day after I don't have to worry too much about where am I gonna put her or anything and honestly, I wasn't able to sleep for the last couple of nights because I knew that this had to be done. It's just that when you're off grid and you use a lot of battery operated stuff, you know, you run out of battery, you have to go get screws like an acre away from you or, you know, the kind of things that take so much time. We do have the solar lights. Let me turn them on so you can see. This is what they look like. I thought I broke them because I cleaned them and this one is kind of flashing. I was cleaning them, a few of them were not working so I think the cleaning was too deep for it. But anyways, I also added this extra light here for Clara. I'd love to have another one for over there. I was gonna run electric here but I'm running out of time and I need something, a solution like today. So what I did is run a piece of twine with this hook here to this other hook over there and then I'm using this LED light that is basically a work light my husband uses he is a welder and you know there sometimes he has to work in areas where he needs extra light and this is super super bright now this is what is lighting this whole thing up oh and those are my earphones because I was listening to music but if I turn this off I mean can you tell the difference that is off and that is on I'm still planning to bring a flashlight to see things up close like if it happens at night and you know the girls Mocha and Annabelle they had their kids during the day uh, last year and 
we were inside the skinning pants. Um, I mean, and I couldn't see very well as they were popping those bubbles up. Uh, so I. I need to find one flashlight and put it in the kitting kit. The idea for the kitting kit, if you watch that video, if not, I'll have a link down below. I'm gonna hook that bag here, so it's right here where I need it. I sterilize everything, so that's, that's the last thing I need to do. And this light is gonna go back with me, so it can continuously charge uh, for when it's needed. But I am pretty happy on how this kidding pen looks like right now. I just think that by the time that you know they start kidding and having babies and they have to spend a few days together here, so I just want it to be a nice place for them and a nice place for us. Now as far as kidding, <laughs> we usually do corners. I typically sit on that corner when they are kidding and the goats have this other corner or if they want that corner, I move to this corner. I mean, there's not much room. Uh, as you can see, that corner is kind of taken and this other one too. But it's plenty big for what we needed. And, and you know, I've seen plenty of videos uh, with amazing setups. I was watching Twin Bridge Farms in Oklahoma and she has like a barrel, like a blue barrel that I do have one like that. One of those lights to keep the babies warm. But I think it kind of depends on, you know, where you live, how cold it is. And if I do need to bring a light, for the babies because there's some weird super cold weather getting they're eating the straw I mean these goats are just something else but anyway so if I do feel like I, they need a light I'll bring one and I'll put it in one of the corners that we have available for them to move around while they are in labor I mean it's not a big deal but I just want to make sure that there's enough room for her to move around when it's time to kid. Again, I think it's only six by four uh, each of these kidding pens and they don't have windows. They don't have like, you know, any kind of fencing so they can see each other through there. I consider putting the little pieces of wood a little bit more apart, but then I thought about kids getting out and to be honest, I think that for kidding in colder weather, well, especially in colder weather, it's good that they have this short wall. So when I open the door in the morning, they still get light, but it's, it's still kind of covered in case that there's wind or it's cold or something like that. It's kind of more protected. So I'm not regretting that. Right now, I feel like everyone has some kind of fencing or something to, in between their kidding pens. I just don't think we need it right now and I may change my mind in the future. In the meantime, Clara is just eating her life away. She's extremely hungry, extremely hungry. She is eating like 24 seven. You won't see her do anything else but eat poop and pee and cry and you know follow me around I think it's pretty normal for you know the last few days you're such a sweet sweet girl and you love the camera Clara you do love to be the star of the show huh well you're gonna be the star of the show in a few days when you bring all those babies this is not the final setup uh, right now the dogs are sleeping here, like, well, right now it's a mess because I'm cleaning, but the dogs are sleeping in this area, the goats are sleeping in the kit, the other kidding pen, but the dogs are going to be moved he from here eventually because I do need more room. Uh, if I'm planning to keep a, a doling, I want to keep one for sure from Clara, and I want to keep one for sure from Annabelle because she gave me a boy last year, which is the cutest boy ever. I can't complain, and full blue eye, and he is a sweet boy. But I wish I can keep a doe, so I hope she gives me one. Um, this is day 21 and she hasn't come back into heat, so I'm assuming she is pregnant and will be kidding sometime in June, which is the latest I want to do kidding. I really didn't want to miss 
this breeding because I really liked what she produced last time. I think Tass is super good, more bug material. And now she was bred to the son of the sire that she was bred to last time. So I really want to see what she produces and I want to keep dolings to see what they're producing with Rocky to make sure that I am breeding him. I am breeding them to the right bug to get the best results. So, of course, um, that will come with time. So, this <laughs> this pen is gonna see way too many changes before I can decide what to do in the end. Would you guys be the good little girls you used to be and stop fighting? No? And that's her stage, I mean their stage. They love to go on top of that rock and just fight. It's like a ring or what is it? Are we boxing? They're fighting because they really are trying to establish their order in the herd. And their mom is at the bottom, at the bottom of the order. Although she does um, protect them you know at night they're sharing a pen they go into a corner and then their mom sits kind of kitty corner to protect them just in case Annabelle decides to be a pain in the butt but they really want to go up that order that pecking order although they're so sweet but in the goat pen Things work differently.